or Miss Leaken? Did your elder hope for Fella Grootown? Rishi. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. We need to find the vault. Have you any idea who it is? I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? I think Fadavid aligned himself with the Order, and plans to use the Needle Silver to fund his war against the Picts. When I pressed him about a drinking contest, he opposed drinking the wine and insisted on ale. For these reasons, I think Fadavid is the vault. Brothers, sisters, dear friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are some of Jorvik's most revered lords. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Aldun is the vote. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by lust for indulgence, your foolish pride, I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilman to safety. I will handle all of them. Go. Contact the king. How do we save these breaths? There is no one. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. 
you live in none. We're fine. Farah Vild and his car has escorted King Rishie back to the Royal Hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Sniveling little shit. I don't care. I want answers. Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others, Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure half them Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Yeah. 
Without resources, Halfdan's army will perish against the Picts. I say we fund the war. Give Halfdan's men what they need to turn the tide. Future Danes and Saxons will thank us for it. You will hear no argument from me. Then it will be done. You will see that your army gets what they need. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this horde. I could use a bloody walk. We have a saying in Yarmia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. We still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Should you ever need us, we will come. One last thing. The soul on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forego the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by Jorvik again, please join us for an aid. I know of a place down the street. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Talk to Hytham. Please, Ragnar, tell us another! Yes, yes, one more. And only because you all have such good taste. Now, this one. This one begins. You look well. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Lufina and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go. I 
should talk to either. 